So for this one, I thought we would make this really nice and dinky 5x5 gatefold card and that just pulls out. So it may be small, but you've got a right bold bash of colours in there. So I thought what we would do is all we've done is we've just taken our 5x5 card blank and then this front one, all we've done is we've just done a score line right down the middle and then we've just folded it back and that now creates our half side gatefold card. So if we just pop that to the side at the moment, then we've just got some of the wee elements. So we've got some of the pattern background papers and then we've got some cardstock. So we're just going to do a bit of matting and layering. So just taking our tape pen, all we're going to do is layer that up. Now because we've got a couple of moving parts on this one, I just like to use my tape pen just so that's all secure straight away. So again, we're just taking another couple of pieces of our pattern cardstock to build up the layers, like so. So if we just add these on, and we're just adding our tape pens all the way around, position that one on. So this is a great one because you've got the white against the black, which really makes it stand out with that bit, bit of pop of colour in the middle. So work our way around. If you feel easier using some wet glue, you can do, but it's not essential. Tape pen also works as well. So we're just going to pop that in. So now if we just bring in our card blank, like so, now we're just going to take this top layer. So as you can see, we've got this real detailed corner just all the way around. So I want that to show. So I'm going to want, want this in this top corner here. So just add our double-sided tape. Now we're just going to set that on, like so. Then we're also just going to take this next layer that we've also layered up on the white and black cardstock. But I want a bit of height, so you can either use your glue gel or you can use your 3D foam pads. So all that we're going to do is we're just going to add a few. And then always remember, when you're adding your 3D foam pads, make sure you add one in the centre because over time you don't want your card to dip. That'll just ensure that that stops happening. So we're just going to take these off, peel the last ones off, then we're just going to add that, overlay from that base layer that we've done. We're just going to take a couple of the pre-die cut sentiments that we've got within the kit and again, just add in some 3D foam pads just onto the back. And we've also got hugs and kisses, as we can see here. So all that we just want to do is just add a bit of shape to it. So if you ever have trouble with your fingers and um, manipulating it with your fingers, you can also take your pokey tool. And then all you just want to do is just add a wee bit of shape, like so. So if we take back and off, then we're just going to add this one in the centre, like so, making that straight, and then again we're just going to take the hugs and kisses, we could either use your wet glue, or I'm just going to use our double sided tape pen, and we're just going to pop that just in the bottom there, and because you've got your two heights, so that's really going to help because you've got a bit of height to the hugs and kisses. So if we just fold that back, then all we're going to do is we're just going to take in one of the layers that we've got, we've just already cut down in black, we've also taken just a bit of white and just distressed it around the edges with a bit of colour. Then if we take in one of our transfers, so we've got this really lovely bike image, so we're just going to place that on, and we're just going to place that, we're going to take a popsicle stick, and we're just going to give that a good rub, just all over, want to make sure we get a good coverage all the way around, like so. So when you think that you've got enough, you can just have a look, peel the backing off, and anything that you've missed, just go over. It doesn't matter how many times that you need to go over it, just to make sure that it's all down. And just start to peel, slowly peel back any bits that you see that's missing. Again, just go back, pull away, like so. So we're coming along just nicely. And 
work your way along. Anything that you're missing. There we go. Then all we can just do is we've also got this Life is Beautiful. So exactly the same. All we're going to do, we're just going to go over the top of the bike. Place that down. And then when you think it's straight, adding pressure. So we're just going to do exactly the same. We're just going to take this over the top border into position like so. Once you're happy with it, just add in detail. Pressing down. Then we're just going to take our tape pen and just do a bit of matting and layering over the back onto the black cardstock like so. So we're just going to add some foam pads to the back here, just down the side, pop that to the side for one second, and we're just going to take this strip that we've already matte and layered, and we're just going to add some tape to the back, pop this into place, like so, bring back in our foiled layer, remove the backing off the foam pads, and place in situ and then just taking a ribbon that we've tied a bit of glue gel onto the back like so and we're just going to place that over the bike and then we've got just a couple of butterflies that we've also stamped and die cut and then we'll just add a bit Tape to the back, we'll place one there and one there and then there is our card. <laughs>